Today's Mass is in honor of our good, good friend, St. Joseph. And so our opening hymn is number 736, St. Joseph was a quiet man. St. Joseph was a quiet man who made things out of wood. He worked with love to guide his hand, and what he made was good. He lived with God a little boy, from whom all things have come. He worked for him in peace and joy, who made the stars and sun. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Behold, a faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord set over his household. I'm very happy we can have this Mass today in honor of St. Joseph. You may have noticed we've got this wonderful statue of St. Joseph here with the child Jesus, and they both have gold crowns. I'll tell you a little bit more about them in our homily. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence we're pleased to choose St. Joseph as spouse of the most holy mother of your son. Grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant, When your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you said my kindness is established forever. And heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The son of David will live forever. <clears throat> I've made a covenant with my chosen one. I've sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. The son of David will live forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord, they never cease to praise you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, 
The boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. He went down with them and came to Nazareth, literally down from Jerusalem, down towards the Jordan River and the desert, and then went back up to Nazareth, and he was obedient to them. Jesus learned obedience from his mother Mary. Jesus learned obedience from his father Joseph. Children learn obedience from their parents. They also learn disobedience. They also can learn dishonesty. Shame on those parents who will give that bad example of dishonesty and disobedience because it gets passed on to the umpteenth generation. I bet you who are listening and watching today, you've learned obedience from your parents. Today's Mass is in honor of St. Joseph. I'm happy we can do so because he's a very quiet saint. He's very underrated. We take him for granted, but here at Relevant Radio, he's made all the difference. Ever since the local bishop, Bishop David Ricken, encouraged us to go to the Oratory of St. Joseph in Montreal and pray to St. Joseph. That was in February of 2010. And ever since that time, things have gone for the better. So you see, we have this rather nondescript statue of St. Joseph uh, behind me, although it's very rich in meaning. It started out by the door where there's a little draft down there. It's cold in the winter. We prayed him every day. And then when he helped us out, he got a promotion. We put him on the wall over there with a spotlight. And that was pretty good. And then he did some more miracles for us. So we had somebody hand carve this beautiful uh, wooden background, which has some of the um, tools of his trade. He's got a hammer, a mallet, a chisel, and a saw. It's very well done. And they've chiseled into it. It's very manly, very um, fine woodwork. And then uh, he worked another miracle. and We got him the crowns, golden crowns to St. Joseph and Our Lady. I'll have to write a book about that someday. Um, but I'm glad we can honor St. Joseph. St. Joseph was obedient. He was loyal. He was pure. He was chaste. He was humble. He was a man of prayer. And he gave Jesus good example. And that's why Jesus said to his parents, why, why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Like that's where you always bring me. Mom and dad, you always bring me to our father's house. And so in a sense, our Lord was saying, I'm here because of the example you gave me. I'd encourage you to be devoted to St. Joseph. There's that wonderful prayer to him, that miraculous prayer. We made a prayer card out of it which is found in the 15th year, the 50th year of the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's true if you say it nine days in a row for anything, your, your prayers are going to be answered. And I know you might be thinking, could it be that easy? It's actually not that easy to say the same prayer every day, nine days in a row. Usually people give up after day two or three. You really, 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 really want to have something to pray nine days in a row for something. And I've done that on a couple of occasions, and I can testify that it's a very, very powerful prayer. But also on our app at relevantradio.com, you can download on the right side the prayers and the devotions and pray that novena to St. Joseph, perhaps on Wednesdays, which are just Saint, uh, devoted to St. Joseph. And in your own way, discover that powerful uh, intercession of St. Joseph and be grateful for uh, how well he carried out his job, which was to protect the Blessed Mother and to protect the child Jesus. He did that 
very, very well. So thank you, St. Joseph. Now please stand for the prayers of the faithful. Gathered together here as children of our Father in heaven, let us bring our petitions before him with confidence. We pray for the church, the spotless bride of Christ, and his mystical body, so that one day all Christians, Catholics, Protestants, and Orthodox, may be united in the one true church Jesus founded, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the bishop of his diocese, David, for my prelate, uh, Fernando, and for bishops, priests, and deacons everywhere, that the Lord might give them abundant grace in their ministry, so they always lead people to the love and knowledge and imitation of Jesus Christ. Our, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering in any way, especially for the sick, the dying, the grieving, the homeless, the unemployed, those who are in prison, those who feel left out or misunderstood for whatever reason, for people who are frustrated because they can't get their driver's license, for refugees and immigrants who are anxious about their future, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic in our country, for all those suffered because of it, for all those who are in danger because they're fighting for it, for peace and unity in our families, our church, our community, and our country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders in the church and elected officials, that may God may give an abundance of grace, that they be prudent and strong and for, uh, filled with fortitude in their the job to protect the citizens, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to serve the church and all souls with joy and simplicity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to abortion in our country and all over the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own special intentions, especially the people who have asked you to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. And for Relevant Radio, for our listeners, our benefactors, our board of directors and our associates, that all of us working together might bring the good news and hope of Christ to ever more souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we believe in your power and we trust in your mercy. We ask you our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. If you're just tuning in right now, this Mass is in honor of St. Joseph and is being broadcast across the relevant radio network on about 188 AM and FM stations around the country and through the internet. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth a work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the dream of Christ, well in himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart. May we accept by you, Lord, may our sacrifices at this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Christ, sisters and brothers, in my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of St. Joseph, whom you called to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. 
we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and in honoring St. Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who is conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, Fernando, my prelate, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command of form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, so by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May us being divided. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you watching home or listening, this is a good moment to pray spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you in the spirit and fervor of the saints. Our communion antiphon is well done, good and faithful servant. Come share your master's joy. O Jesus, we adore you, who in your love divine conceal your mighty Godhead in forms of bread and wine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Jesus, we adore you, our victim and our priest, whose precious blood and body become our sacred feast. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. I'm glad you could join us today for this Mass in honor of St. Joseph. The Mass is available at Relevant Radio every day of the week, Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, at noon Central Time. And if you can't make it then, it's always available on demand at RelevantRadio.com or on the app. So literally, you have the Mass 
in your pocket. We're very grateful to our supporters who have made this possible for us. <clears throat> Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example intercession and intercession of St. Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries served you as a man just and obedient. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And now let us pray this prayer to Our Lady of Good Health as we have been doing every day since March 15th after Mass. O Lady of Good Health, our merciful Father chose you to be a powerful intercessor in times of trouble and woe. As in past centuries, when you've interceded to end contagious diseases, we implore you now to end the coronavirus, which is damaging the health of many and spreading fear in our communities. Teach us not to be afraid, to be courageous and generous in offering assistance to others and to live joyfully in the state of grace. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our closing hymn is St. Joseph was a quiet man. Number 736 in your St. Michael hymnal, verse 2. A carpenter to guard the sun who set the stars so high. A carpenter made chairs for one who made the earth and the sky. He lived with God a little boy from whom all things have come. He worked for him in peace and joy who made the stars and sun.